Hey everyone, David C. Anderson from the Knife Center. We're coming at you from the back alleys of Blade Show 2024. Uh, we're here because we're taking a look at some soon to be released Boker items. We're here with Karsten himself. How are you, yep. sir? Good, good. Always yep. good to see you. Good to see you. Well, let's jump right in. Uh, this is the first thing I wanted to start out with because I thought it was just really cool. Tell me about this dagger. Yeah, um, the brand is, um, it's, a, it's a set brand of us. It's called History Knife and Tool. Um, we are always um, thinking, working on new projects and, um, you know, have a strong uh, focus on, on history. Mm -hmm. You know, we've come a long way with Boker and um, made a lot of knives and see a lot of projects and in interesting stuff um, that is unique and extraordinary. So it wouldn't fit in one of our brands, you know, the, mm -hmm. the Boker Zoling or the Boker Plus or the Magnum brand. Um, so, but we think it's, you know, interesting designs for, for knife nuts or history buffs. Mm -hmm. And um, so we, um, you know, established this new brand, History Knife and Tool. And kind of taking those historical things and... Correct. And bringing them Rebuild the, the knife and uh, with a historical background and um, bring it to the market for an affordable price point. Um, yeah. And this, so far, this concept is working out pretty well. And so this was a project. so this was a sleeve dagger originally. Correct. You were telling Correct. me, used by like covert operatives. Like what time yep. frame is it? Like World War Two, World War One, um, World War One. Oh, the nineteen twenties. Okay, yeah, nineteen twenties yeah, yeah, yeah. between the wars, so to speak. Yep. Very cool. So that was yeah, like an undercover agent sleeve dagger. Yeah. So you got the triple edge going on, yep. and this is all one piece. It's integral. Absolutely. Yep. Um, Steel is a, a like a ball bearing steel. Yeah, ball bearing steel. Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, really unique design, cool design. Um, it's it just feels so it neat. Feels good. Yeah, has this vintage look. Yeah, I love the purpose. finish on it. It it looks like it's been carried for for a couple decades already. Absolutely. It has that broken in look. Yeah. And His history. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Like it looks vintage. Yeah. And but it feels brand new, of course, yeah. obviously. Um, but there's the sheath for it. Slide it on up yeah. <laughs> the sleeve there. Yeah, or here on the... Um, sure, right. yeah. Uh, I'm not uh, a covert operative, if you, could, if you couldn't <laughs> I tell. I think you do it right here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. And yeah, for that's about the length of a forearm, or at least mine yeah. anyway, yeah. so any bigger and it would be too yeah. much. Yeah. So really maximizing the, uh, the space. Yeah, just really neat. Yeah, very cool. So 62 uh, 95 price point um, and available soon. And is that the uh, MSRP or is that the... That's the MSRP. Okay, yeah. so it'll be so a little bit So the market price will that. be a little low. Uh, low very cool. Maybe around, around the $50 or so yeah. point, I would guess. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Exactly. Very, yeah. very cool. All right, now we're going to move on to a new version of... I'd, I'd wager to say your, your biggest hit of the last year or so. I think so, yes. <laughs> I think so. The Kion DC yes. really um, is a huge success for us. Um, and... Market is screaming for more variations. There's more to come. Well, it hits just such a great price point too. Yes. I mean, these are like, you know, just over forty bucks uh, on the Knife Center site for the standard yep. version. Is yep. that going to be kind of the same? Same, same price. Same price. The all the black. Original. It's, it's the all black version. Yeah. People love the all black version. So. So D two uh, steel. Correct. Just over two in, or just over three inches long. Crossbar lock. Good action. Yeah. And it's one of those knives that feels a bit more substantial than, yeah. than you might expect. Like it feels yeah. like something that you might be able to kind of apply in any use case. Everyday carry, take yeah. it camping. Yeah. Now in the, uh, in the blacked out version, it, it even leans into some tactical uh, styling Absolutely. a little bit more. Yeah. It's just gonna work. Yeah. It's just gonna work real nice. Yeah. We're very happy about that project. And I'm glad you guys uh, switched it up from when you first debuted it and gave us the reversible pocket <laughs> clip on there. That was we, really nice. In the, in the uh, yeah, the first presentation was without the clip, the, um, the reversible. But, but, yeah, yeah, but but we we uh, n no knife uh, left the factory without the reversible yeah. clip. So yeah, yeah. we uh, when you've got an ambidextrous that. lock like that, I, I always love seeing yeah. uh, seeing you guys do that. We Good stuff. That. Yeah, yeah, excellent, Happy excellent. All right, next up, uh, this knife is the slip lock. Is that right? Correct. L has a style of the slip joint knife, but is not. Has a frame lock. Um, yeah, it's kind of like taking that old school thing and, and just kind of exactly so take, that's, kicking it up a notch. <laughs> yeah, Kirk Mayberry um, design, so that's why we picked it. It's it's unique, you know, um, brings together two worlds, and um, Sandvik steel. 
frame lock. I like the frame contouring lock. on it as well, yep. so it, it, it sits in the hand pretty comfortably. Yep. And the blade there is kind of a bit of a, a bruiser. Um, you got a little bit of extra thickness and a you know a mid height flat grind there. This is going to have some yep. some stones behind it, I would say, <laughs> when you push through that. Yeah. Yeah. I like the clip. Nice milled clip. Uh, what's the price point on this? One hundred thirty-seven bucks um, retail. Right. So a little less. So a little less than that uh, on the site. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. This was actually the first thing I saw when I yeah. walked in the room today. Yeah. <laughs> The cut weasel. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> I love the name, the cut yeah. weasel. <laughs> well, utility so, knives are certainly having a bit of a moment right now, so the timing we, is good. We sell the, our model Slyk mm -hmm. very well, mm -hmm. um, and that goes in that direction, but, but with the utility blade, um, um, tool steel, and but the same uh, functionality. Mm -hmm. So I see you got a couple different uh, position stops Correct. on here, so you can yeah. extend part, you know, a few different distances, which is cool. It's nice and smooth. What's the, the frame made out of? Is that aluminum? aluminum? Yeah. That's aluminum. So it's a, it's a solid uh, construction. And you can even get like a pretty full grip on that. I wouldn't say it's like a, a, a super hand filling yeah. grip, but you can, at least for my slightly yeah. larger than average yeah. hands, I can get all four of my fingers on that without hitting yeah. the edge. Yeah. So that's like bare minimum for, for actual space it takes up in yeah. your pocket, and yet you can still, in a yeah. pinch, yeah. Take that. But it's, it gives it, um, a kind of an elegant touch to to a tool working knife. Right? Yeah, uh, it's, yeah. It's uh, cool. And the clip is um, now more solid um, than on other models. Um, so we're, we're happy with the whole construction. Well, I like the width of it, too. This could yeah. almost work as like a money clip yeah. as well. Could, could do, yes. I like, the, the, I like the ridging on the G10 there. Mm -hmm. um, it gives you a little extra traction for when you're pushing it forward. Yeah. Nicely, so, uh, nice details. Yeah. $56 retail. All right. Next is the Max. A um, little higher price point here. Uh, we're talking to $280, but it's titanium frame lock, um, S35 VN steel, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. titanium milled clip. So it's, you know, it's yeah. the premium. It, it's a premium knife. The, the, Obviously, the first thing you see is just how wide that blade is compared to the handle. It really, it, it gives that impression of you're really getting the most out of the space, yeah. I would say. At least that's the impression I had. Yeah, that is a nice blade. I like that it's a drop point, but it's got a little more character than, well, say, like a, a more standard yeah. drop point there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's very nice. Action's real good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice and premium feeling. All right. Next, the Sanyo. Um, more Asian <laughs> A little bit, yeah. Direction. Definitely has that uh, kind of Quaken or Tonto yeah. vibe going on. VG10 blade, burl up my color scales. Um, stone wash finish. Titanium clip Titanium on that. Titanium clip on that, absolutely. So it's more like a, um, yeah, like a historical touch even. Um, in terms of the shape, yeah, of the shape, yes. for sure. I like this. This is some really nice burlap. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, burlap can be kind of so-so on the lower price yep. scale of things. Yep. You might see some pits or voids, but this is really yep. full and really nice. And I like how thick those liners are. These titanium liners. Yes. I like how thick they are. They're yes. giving you a really good contact patch for the uh, the lockup. When I when I first saw this, it was closed like this. I actually thought it might be a new uh, Brad Zinker design, but this is yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. This is not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> so price like point one hundred forty dollars. Yeah, man, it feels fills the hand quite nicely. I mean, that is a nice meaty grip on that. If that's what you want in this size of a folder, so, uh, blade length on this is about a little under three and a half. I'm in centimeters. <laughs> 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 that's <almost>. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, three, yeah, three, okay, yeah. three point three eight three inch. Point three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no, my, my, my mistake. <laughs> Very cool. So, well, that's yeah. a, a good kind of transition into some slightly more tactical things. We've got a few more folders to look at, real yeah. quick. Chuck Gudrides. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> that, this is always a, a tough designer, name to say. <laughs> great designer. We love this guy, Chuck Gudrides. Yes. This Perfect. is the uh, Atropos. Atropos, yeah. correct. BG ten blade. Micarta scales, price point ninety five dollars. Um, 
for uh, MSRP again. There, again, so. I'm talking M M retail. Sure, sure. So that's like a nice four inch blade coming in a little over 80 bucks probably retail mm -hmm. or uh, mm -hmm. on, on the website when they're live. That gives you a lot to work mm -hmm. with for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I like the grinds on that. Love the dagger styling. Uh, we've got a, f a few things today actually uh, that we're looking at uh, dagger wise. Yeah. Um, and then Macarta scale is very nice. Yeah. And we'll, we'll just show these next to each other real quick. We've got the, I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Yeah. The name on this either. one. <laughs> Cho choice. Choose. Chaos. Choose. 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 Choose means. <laughs> C-H-E-U-S. <laughs> for those who are looking for it on the site. Later. We have to talk to the marketing department. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the, the designer, uh, Ponomarov, um, he came up with the, yeah. with the name. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, it's, it is a very striking blade. I like that a lot, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Not the Two hugest. Blades. Not yeah. the hugest handle. If you've got you know, yeah. bigger hands, uh, I've got kind of just enough space, but I am kind of creeping up over the uh, the back here. So, especially uh, folks with medium or smaller hands, I think this would be a really great fit. Exactly. And I saw also the uh, opening method on this is primarily the the pocket deployer yeah. right there. Yeah. So draw that from the pocket, angle it so it catches the hem of your pants, yeah. pocket, whatever you want to call it, and uh, away you go. Yeah, if, so, if, if you're not deploying it that way, it's kind of, a, I guess you could, you could want you a could, one hand open like that. that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very cool. Uh, so did you, you mention the steel on this? I'm sorry. Yeah, VG10. VG10 VG yeah. and uh, $99 retail. Yeah. And that is joined by... Yeah. A very similar looking knife, but not the same designer, correct? Not the same designer and a way more simple name. <laughs> <laughs> the W1. I can remember <laughs> that one. Bad, yeah. Again, G10 scales, VG10 blade. Double edged on yeah. this one. And that, blade. that feels great in my hand. Yeah. I like this kind of scallop, this scoop here in the middle, because it gives, for, for me on this one, it just gives a place for my fingertips to really kind of anchor in on that opposite side really, really well. Yeah, yeah. very nice. Yeah. And uh, these are gonna come with Kydex sheets, correct? Correct, absolutely. Price point is 97 retail. So again, you know, between 80 and 85 yeah. uh, on the website when they go yeah. up. That's not too bad yeah. at all. Yeah. That's yeah. a cool finish too. Yeah, the finish is good, the ergonomics are nice. Um, yeah, there's something that uh, the way the light is playing off all these these mm -hmm. facets with that particular finish, it kind of calls to mind a little bit <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the sleeve dagger there mm -hmm. from uh, from earlier. Not not identical, but yeah, it kind of it, it lives in kind of the same ballpark in my mind anyway. Yeah. All so right. next fixed blade in the Boca Plus line, MUK, oh, Mark, MUK, hmm. <laughs> Sandwich Steel, uh, Micara Scales, and this is Skinner skinning knife all the way. Yeah. 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 Um, still wash finish. I like so I like the you went with the linen mm -hmm. micarta on this. You got such a, a narrow handle to start with. You know, if you if you went with the canvas, that texture would be almost too big. Yeah. So I like the the refinement that the linen brings to the table here. Yeah, and the ergonomics. Yeah, it just uh, it locks in really yeah, nicely, yeah. really nicely. Also, Kydex sheath. And for those of you that, who know Thomas behind the camera, you know he likes a cheese knife. This would be a, a pretty decent uh, Parmesan <laughs> cheese knife, don't you think? Yeah. Like busted apart the wheel. You're right. <laughs> Maybe we put all of wood handles on it. Maybe you talk to the marketing department <laughs> yeah. again. <laughs> and Kydex but sheath on Kydex that again. Kydex sheath, price point 38. Yeah. 30, 38, it's a, it's a good price. So even yeah. less than, yeah. yeah. That 12C12, yeah, I mean, it feels good. Yeah. Like it just, it makes me happy as soon as it's right there. All right. Super light tanto, the last one in the Boca Plus lineup. Um, yeah. Skeleton knife, fixed blade. D2 steel. Blade, D2 steel. So it's got some chunk to it, which is good because you don't have any handles on it. You still have enough that it feels kind of locked in. Yeah. It's not like yeah. sharp underneath your, uh, your, your grip there. And, and $41 retail. So. And then this one, we do have a, a sheath to show you. It's got the. Yeah. Uh, that style of retention clip right yep. there, so that'd be really nice inside the waistband if you uh, like to carry concealed. Yep. Uh, could make a decent pocket fixed blade as well. Mm -hmm. Another genre I'm very yep. fond of. Yeah, that's got some some meat to it. Yeah, I like the. I feel like this could be something that could just be seriously abused uh, and just keep on going. Like even though D2 is not a, a quote unquote super tough steel, with the strength of that that spine right there, this thing can take a 
beating, I bet. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so that was Boca Plus. And now we're um, stepping into the Magnum territory. Um, the reason we haven't shown any like uh, Boker Zollingen made or anything yet is um, we mentioned at the beginning, all of these are going to be available very soon. Very soon. Um, there's not going to be a huge wait uh, to, to get your hands on these. So we yeah. kept, it to, kept it to the most imminent stuff for yeah. this video. And there will be more to come, of course. But um, later on in the year, you know, we have the European markets. It's a little bit behind. So we don't want to let people get excited now. And then and, frustrated and yeah. that we <laughs> deliver three months later. Yeah, yeah. You know, so we are gonna uh, re release and promote the other uh, product later Good. on. Yeah, yeah. We focused on Magnum in the last years, and I think very su successfully. I mean, I I've seen the 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 change that the Magnum line has has you know been going through, and they yeah. definitely feel a step up from where Absolutely. where they were before. Just, Absolutely. You know, aiming a little bit higher in the yes. in the marketplace. Higher, this was more serious. Yeah. Um, just yeah. And and one of the highlights is another the success story, yeah. The, for right, sure. The rock stop and now in a black version. Right. So crossbar lock. 440B steel. Um, so a solid steel, right? Um, to keep the price point mm -hmm. low. Right. We're talking retail forty five dollars. So aluminum scales. Yeah, and I'll have to check. I don't remember for sure what the price was on the Knife Center website for the existing versions, but I want to say they were even less than 40 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's less um, than 40 bucks. So it's, it's a very attainable yes. knife. Yes. Like even maybe less than 35. I can't. You can check out the links in the description, <laughs> of course. Head over to the Boker section yes. on the, uh, the website. Yeah. But for okay. a, a budget crossbar lock knife, this hits so many marks very nicely. About a two and a half inch blade, or just over two and a half inches on the blade. Mm -hmm. Super useful shape. Just enough there in the in the handle department for me to get a three and a half finger grip on, but it's not. It doesn't feel too small. Like no. I can choke up on it and push behind the blade with all four of my fingers on that handle. It's just a very just very right. clean design, yes. yeah. And the compact design. If you com compare yeah. to the uh, to the Kihon DC, you know, if you want to have a little bit more, a little better steel, and GFN scales, you're the Kihon is one for you, and uh, if you want to have it a little bit more compact, there you yeah, go. You go for the Magnum. And completely reversible, uh, or completely Absolutely. ambidextrous design as well. Yes. You know what I really like right on this is the that spine-mounted logo, mm -hmm. or the spine-engraved uh, logo. Exactly. That's just, it makes it feel a little bit higher well, end. We made that change um, also a year ago. We, we cleaned up basically the blades, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Reduced mm -hmm. the logos. Put the the names on the spine, um, you know, just m more knife. It makes it feel and like cleaner you're getting design. more. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You take things away to make it feel like more. That's funny. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but it works. It works. Yeah. All right. Next up. Next in line, the Braddock Black, another Magnum. Um, you know, sa same di design direction again. More serious, more exclusive. Um, very good fit and finish. I like the copper uh, carbon yeah. fiber uh, surrounds For example, there. That's a nice little detail. Yeah. You wouldn't have found um, in the in the Magnum line before. And we're still talking about a knife that's going to be less than fifty dollars for you to pick up as Absolutely. well. Again, four forty B steel. I like the sliciness yeah. of that blade. Nice mm -hmm. and thin, just clean. Very cool. Yeah, and the finish Ooh. on the blade is, is is really nice. It flips really nicely yeah. too. That that yeah. is the action is very good. good. Very cool, yeah. deep carry clip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good handle. It feels good. great. Ampery, um, you know this black and white combination. Always looks good. Yeah, Star Wars is calling. <laughs> 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 yeah, same uh, G10 scales uh, with a nice uh, texturing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, definitely gives you plenty of grip there. Yeah, you got a front flipper. Let's see. I'm never the best at these. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this one, uh, MSRPN, this is only 40 bucks, so it's going to be even less yep. than that. Absolutely. Just over three inches on the blade, another clean, slicey profile yep. as well, not too thick. Magnum on the spine, mm -hmm. too. Reversible deep carry clip yep. on this one, too. Very deep carry, too. Check that yeah. out. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Good. And then a more elegant version, but also, um, yeah, again, yeah, there's Magnum. some details that feel a little higher end, like the pivot has some extra detailing. The the opening disc here as well, 
actually feels a little fancy, for lack of mm -hmm. a better word, a little fancier. Mm -hmm. And it's a clean line too for the, for the design. G10 scales, again, 440B steel, $36 retail. So Very really nice. attractive price point. Three inch blade on that. I gotta tell you, I've said it a few times, I think you guys are hitting the blade shapes really nicely, or in a way Thank that you. really appeals to, to what I like anyway. They're just clean, efficient slicers yeah. that have some personality to it without being too far you know, over the top, for lack yes. of a better word. Yeah, that's, that's my takeaway from, uh, from this lineup, that's really. The new, like that. Yeah, we made a lot of research, you know, mm -hmm. um, and, and, and this success tells. It's, it's, we're heading in the right direction. I think so, you know? yeah. They're looking really good. Cool. And last but not least. Yeah, finally, uh, a Bali Zong trainer, you know, in the Magnum line. Feels pretty good. Yeah. 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 Just to, to play around. What's the uh, we'll, price point going to we'll be? Will be uh, below twenty dollars. Wow! Seriously? Yeah. Uh, with aluminum handles. Aluminum handles Jeez. comes even with a nice uh, nylon pouch. Mm-hmm. Man, that's going to hit a great uh -huh. price. Yeah, and just you know, a nice trainer. Yeah, I mean that. You know, it's not going to rival the action of like your you know two hundred dollar valleys, but that feels. No. Yeah. That might be the best twenty dollar valley I've ever flipped. Not that I'm an expert, but it just feels very yep. smooth, very good. I like the texturing on the, the aluminum there. It keeps it from being too slick. Yeah. What more do you folks want to know? Let us know in the comments. I think that's pretty sweet. All right. All right. Uh, well, that's what we've got to show you for this moment for from this the moment. back alleys of Blade Show. <laughs> um, again, next couple of months, uh, these will be uh, able to be ordered. We'll make sure to yep. try and get them up on our site as soon as we can. Uh, so keep an eye out for them there. Carson? Thanks a lot. Thank you so Always much. A pleasure. Appreciate your time. Keep sticking around. Check Thank out you. the rest of our Blade Show coverage.